Now, an old fort has become the latest battleground for Ngāti Whātua o Orake as it fights for its Treaty of Waitangi Settlement. When the deed of settlement was signed late last year, the deal looked done and dusted, but a small piece of Navy land is now proving a sticking point. To discuss the issue, we have Ngāti Whātua CEO Tiwana Tibble, but first, here's what's at stake. This is the land at the centre of the dispute, 3.2 hectares of prime North Shore real estate. It was given to the Crown by Ngāti Whātua back in 1840 and is still being used by the Navy as an officer training base. The government came up with a deal which would see the land sold to Ngāti Whātua as part of its treaty settlement, but the Navy would still be able to lease it for up to 150 years. But Fort Courtley is also part of the Hauraki Gulf Marine Park and was set to revert to reserve status should the Navy move out. Locals are up in arms that the land could end up in Ngāti Whātua's private ownership. The treaty deal is now before Parliament, and the Auckland City Council has announced it will oppose the inclusion of Fort Courtley. We asked the uh, Mayor's office and three councillors opposing the deal to come on the show today, but none were available. So thank you to Tiwana Tibble for giving up his Easter Sunday to join us and at least give us Ngāti Whātua's view of this debate. Tēnā koe, Tiwana. Kia ora, Scotty. This has become a heated issue. Are you surprised by that? Well, I think if there's a, a lot of misinformation that's been put out there, it's probably no surprise. Um, I mean, I attended the uh, public meeting at uh, Devonport last week with uh, um, Chris Finlayson. And um, I think he was able to get off, off to a good start because there were so many uh, incorrect assertions that had been previously made. Mm. Uh, there were pictures of land which included a reserve, uh, playgrounds, uh, that was wrong. Uh, under our settlement, we had to take back, um, to buy back, uh, land with buildings on it. Um, it talked about access, they talked about access ways being uh, stopped, that's incorrect. They talked about the land being council owned. The land that Ngāti Whātua Araki is buying is not council owned. So mm. the valuation, they quoted some, uh, some amazing numbers, but if you take into account that improvements are not part of the, the purchase and that we're buying a, there's a, there's a prepaid uh, lease back, it's, it's just, um, it's not straightforward. So a lot of uh, incorrect assertions to start with and, and so as a result, probably no surprise that, uh, that some people are up in arms. You mentioned public access there, so there's no, you can allay any concerns about public access? Yeah, we're not taking any of the, uh, we're not acquiring or buying any of the land that's, um, as I say, that um, is part of the reserve. Uh, they've got to correct the, uh, I think some of the easements, uh, some of the legality and that's, that's because, you know, well, the last uh, century really, mm. the land has been a public. And so uh, with this transaction with Ngāti Whātua Araka, it's, it's an appropriate time just to correct and get things right. And uh, no, the, uh, the access ways are, are there. Mm. Mm. One of the other concerns is that the government is giving away land that's not theirs to give away. What's your opinion on that? Well, no, the title of the land is uh, definitely, it's, it's Defence Force land. It's mm. owned by the, by the Crown. So it's pretty simple, really. Um, that's an incorrect decision. What are Ngāti Whātua's plans for development on this site? Well, we've got a 150-year uh, lease with the Navy, with Defence, and so uh, the first 15 years are, um, are confirmed. Uh, we don't have any development rights, uh, so we have no development plans. So there's no plans for like a hotel or building a new marae on this site? There's no plans like that in the Look, future? Look, the, the ball's in the, in the Defence uh, in, in their court until they, only if they were to uh, cancel their rights in the lease and, and then sell uh, the remaining interest back to us in 15 years, only at that time would you even consider what you might do. Right now, we don't have any rights and so uh, we're not, we, we don't have any plans. Mm. What about the Hauraki Marine Reserve Act and all of the complications around that? Is that affecting this deal at all? Yeah, there's, there are some, um, some minor issues that, uh, that we're working through with that uh, legislation, but it's all covered. I mean, on, I think on one side, you, uh, it goes right back to Sandra Lee and her time, uh, and there was a view, uh, it's, it's stated in the Act, that if the land, if all of the land, uh, um, all of the defence land were, uh, were for whatever reason, um, the Crown had de determined to, uh, to transfer them to some other party, mm. then uh, the, uh, the issue about um, marine parks would come into play. Having said that, Section 14 of that Act is also very clear. Mm. Section 14 says that despite that, you cannot compromise treaty settlements and particularly redress. So, you know, we're covered uh, in that regard. The City Council and the Mayor, Len Brown, have come out against this deal now? 
Yeah, I, I, look, um, there was a statement uh, on the Sunday morning, probably a bit premature by the Mayor, and then on uh, Monday I understand that they have agreed to write a submission. Uh, we have had discussions with them and we understand that, that well, the submission is not due till the 18th of April. And, um, I mean... Must I, be disappointing, though. Well, I th I, my personal view is that uh, the, the Mayor should, and his, and his advisers, would best uh, be to, to look at you know, the, the deal in its totality, <laughs> understand it, understand it. You just can't... Look, Ngāti uh, Whātuarāko, this started in the 1970s, at least. Mm. And um, our agreement in principle, which we the second one really, which we concluded in uh, 2010, that uh, talked about the Navy land, and right now we've uh, really consummated it by, um, by agreeing and ratifying a deed on the uh, 5th of November last year with the people. Now, you just can't uh, undo one little bit of it. Mm. It's, it's an, in totality, it's mm. a package. Uh, Ngāti Whātuarāko's you know, lost hundreds of thousands of acres, so... So the 28 uh, odd hectares that are going to come back under the settlement, uh, they're only a drop in the ocean, but they're an important part for Waraki. Pākehā occupation of this land seems rather ironic, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How does Ngāti Whātua feel about that? Look, uh, look uh, we see uh, the neighbours of Devonport as long-term neighbours. Uh, we've got... Um, there's other bits of the land that which, uh, which are developable. And, um, look... Uh, I don't think we, we want to get into any debate right now yeah. about about people people who are occupying and not. We just think that they've got their time right now with the submission period. They uh, they're best to put their ideas and their views. I think this is a good time for clarification. Yeah. So all the, all these assertions that are incorrect can be corrected, and then let's move on from there. And enjoy the rest of your Easter. Thank you very much Good. for coming in. Okay. Cheers.